Hi and welcome back, I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm going to show you how to make a smoked hazelnut bourbon sour. Sounds like a bit of a mouthful but when it's broken down the smoke component comes from the Lafroy and Isla whiskey and yes I actually pronounced it correctly that time, I had a few people call me, call me up for calling it an Isla whiskey, it is pronounced Isla. Uh, and then the hazelnut component comes from the Frangelico. So this cocktail was suggested by one of my Patreon patrons, Stefan, so thank you very much. The particular recipe um, that he suggested and the original recipe that I found on a website, it is a bourbon sour, it doesn't have the egg white component, so if you stick around, I'm gonna actually make both variations and compare the two and give my feedback on both of them. The only difference between the two recipes, apart from the egg white, is the first one I'm gonna serve over crushed ice, apparently like the original whiskey sour. Uh, reason being is the photo that I've come across uh, when they add the pushords, they float it on top and it's going to be a lot easier to do with the crushed ice. You'll understand as I, as I make the drink. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to start by measuring out 60 ml, two ounces of bourbon whiskey. So today I'm just going to use Maker's Mark. And then follow that by using Frangelico, 15 ml, half an ounce. So Frangelico is a liqueur, so it does have a sugar component to it, which means that in comparison to a traditional sour recipe, you can drop that sugar from the simple syrup. Uh, followed by fresh lemon juice, 22.5 ml or three quarter ounce. And then drop the sugar component in comparison to a standard sour to 15 ml, half an ounce. So there's no egg white in this one, so just go right ahead, add ice, and give it a shake. So fill that old fashioned glass with ice. And strain over the top. Now if you are making this cocktail at home, if you would prefer uh, you don't have to add additional ice to your uh, glass. You can just simply dump the contents of the shaker and straight in. So I might just add a little bit more crushed ice to that. And add two dashes of Peshawar's bitters. So it actually really frustrates me because there's a lot of photos out there of cocktails that have been doctored or, or tweaked just to make the photo look good. The particular um, website that I went to to look at this recipe, there was a real thick uh, pink layer of pushords. It clearly looked like it had like 10 or 15 dashes, um, but that's with just a couple of dashes, that's how, how it should look. Uh, and then to finish that one off, We've got um, an atomizer, and I've got that filled with an Isla whiskey, so it's gonna add that smoky component to the drink. So I'm just gonna give it a quick. Give it a quick mist over the top. So there you have the smoked hazelnut bourbon sour, and now I'll make one with egg white. So there you have a smoked hazelnut bourbon sour with the addition of egg white. So I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two and let you know um, the subtle differences. It's mainly gonna be textural. It's really quite light and delicate. You do have the smoke, a combination of like smoky and floral notes on the nose. Um, it works quite well. Uh, I, I do like the addition of the, the Isla whiskey just by spraying it on top, it's not overpowering. It just complements the, the sour. It's nice, it's light. A um, little bit of smokiness. The, the hazelnut actually doesn't come, come through very strong, but it, it is there, just like an underlying, underlying flavor. And then the one with egg white. Just, just simply by putting it on uh, cubed ice rather than crushed, uh, it seems to have uh, a little bit more depth, a little bit more flavor to it. 
Uh, it's not as, as diluted. And the mouthfeel, uh, it's a lot more textural. So I definitely prefer overcubed ice with egg white. So there you have two smoked hazelnut bourbon sours. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.